the co consumer confidence in India has been completely shaken and fallen to record lows. Now, this is an important index that we are talking about. According to the Reserve Bank of India's Consumer Confidence Survey for, for the month of May, the toll that the lockdown has taken on the economy has resulted in consumer perception about the current economic situation, jobs and expectations of income completely collapsing. Now, that is going to have a direct impact on a lot of things. Let me get an understanding from Avni on the overall aspect of consumer confidence and how it could impact the economy. Avni, over to you. If you could break down this information for us when we say that the consumer confidence have uh, been completely shaken and fallen to record lows, what exactly are we talking about? Well, that's right, uh, Afrida. Now, a consumer confidence survey is a regular survey that the Reserve Bank uh, carries out to sort of gauge uh, the mood of uh, people, uh, mood of Indians in terms of perception towards things like the economy, towards things like uh, job opportunities, employment, what people perceive uh, on several of these factors. And this is the survey that's carried out. And this time, this survey for the month of May has uh, shown up uh, that uh, people at this point in time are extremely fearful about the future, about the economic situation in the country, obviously given the uh, COVID-19 pandemic and the resulting lockdown and the toll that's taken on the economy has sort of, you know, given rise to these fears uh, that people are feeling at the moment. Uh, so essentially the survey says that Indians have never been more pessimistic about the economy, uh, jobs, economy and falling income are the most uh, important uh, and the biggest fears that people have on their minds at this point in time. A uh, survey also talks about the fact that discretionary spending has been cut significantly. Uh, now, essential spending still remains. Uh, obviously, it's, it's essential spending, so it's needed. Uh, that hasn't seen much of a reduction, but discretionary spending has uh, seen a massive uh, fall in the last, uh, in the month of May. And also the fact that spending is unlikely to increase even in the coming year. Uh, so obviously, because people are worried about the economy, about jobs, about the fact that their incomes may come down, uh, they will obviously try not to spend. Uh, so spending is not going to increase in the coming year. And even for the year ahead, it's not just for now when uh, uh, spoken about the year ahead. Also, uh, the perception uh, is still that of pessimism. So all in all, this really reflects, reflects the, the state, state of, of the economy, economy at, at this, this point, point in time. time and more and importantly, it shows that, that uh, people, people right, right now are, uh, are uh, uh, extremely, extremely fearful, fearful about, about what, what the future holds and, and are more likely, likely to hold, hold on to whatever, whatever uh, money uh, that, that they, they have and that, that they, they will not, not be spending uh, more than, than what, what is needed, needed for, for absolute essentials of either. Right. right, so, so consumer, consumer spending, spending then will take, take a beating, beating which, which in turn will have its own uh, repercussions. repercussions. Thanks, thanks for updating us with the latest, latest information. information.